Mark was lucky to escape his ordeal with just a couple of sore fingers. He could easily have lost his life. He'd spent 48 hours in the snow in the high mountains of Diableré in sub-zero temperatures. He lost his way and fell into a ravine while trying to follow the path of the ski lift. In the States, usually following the, so the supports is the easiest way to get down because um, it's the most visible and you can see something and there's a reference point. Um, but I wasn't expecting there to be the ravine there. The ravine had been carved out by a river. As Mark made his way along it, he had to cross the stream three times, sometimes with water up to his neck. But his scout training served him well. In my head I said, you know, if I stop moving, then I might not start moving again. Um, so that was the main thing, was to stay moving. On Tuesday morning, he used the last of his energy to scale the 35-metre wall of the ravine. At the top, he called for help for more than four hours. Passers-by on a street nearby eventually heard his cries and called the police. When they, when they first answered me, that was just, it was incredible, you know, just to have someone respond after not, you know, talking to anyone or having anyone hear me for almost, you know, two and a half days. So that was definitely pretty emotional. Sylvain Cromp went by helicopter to locate the lost skier and was amazed at the condition he was in. I did a body check and I saw that he was in good shape, apart from a little hypothermia. I was very surprised. Mountain rescue specialists say his survival was a miracle. It's not only his physical condition, it's also his mental state. That's what saved the day. You need to have a very strong spirit to survive two days and two nights in those conditions. Mark's recovering and will soon resume his studies at Lausanne's Federal Institute of Technology.